hello everyone hope you all are doing great guys today in this video we are going to discuss one real time scenario troubleshooting in this video we are going to troubleshoot one real time scenario real time issue you can say right and issue is here you can see the issue issue is when isp1 is going down the lan users are not able to access internet so in my scenario first of all let me make you familiar with this scenario guys you can see these are lan user these all lan user are connected through router one this is my edge router edge router edge router is connected with two isp isp1 and isp2 there are two isp so between edge router and isp1 i am running network 1.1.1.0 between edge router and isp2 i am running network 2.2.2.0 suppose this is my primary link and this is secondary link here we have more bandwidth let's say 8 mbps or here we have 100 mbps and here we have only 10 mbps right like that okay this is your primary this is your secondary isp1 is your primary link isp2 is your secondary link so on router number one there is failover configuration that means whenever isp1 will goes down it should shift all traffic on isp2 but router one is actually not shifting or maybe i don't know what is problem so we are going to troubleshoot it that why when isp1 is going down lan user are not able to access internet so first of all we will verify that when isp1 is up that time lan user are able to access internet or not 8.8.8 or not okay but before that let me so let me make you familiar with ip configuration guys here you can see i am running ip 1.1.1.1 on the interface of router 1 which is connected with isp1 here i am running ip 2.2.2.1 one here i am running ip 2.2.2 here i am running ip 1.1.1.2 right so these ip addresses should be reachable from router number one and definitely it's it will be reachable because both are directly connected both are next hop ip address after that both isp is connected with internet and behind internet 8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. I am running one IP address that is 8.8.8, .8, right? So there is reachability and we are not going to check through which protocols or through, right? right how ISP is, all ISP is reachable with 8.8.8. .8 .8. We are not going to check that, right? Our concern is here on router number one only, okay? And on this interface, I am running IP 192.168.10. I think. 254 so let me show you the ip configuration as well on router number one here i have access of router one i'm going to run command show ip interface brief exclude and assign so see on lan interface i am running ip 10.254 so from my pc i have access of pc1 on this pc so ip i am running what ip over here 192.168.10.1 and this is the default gateway so let me verify that first of all am i able to ping my default gateway or not 192.168.10.254 so yes i am able to ping my default gateway now i am going to ping 8.8.8 .8 .8 from this pc ping 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8. So yes, I am able to ping 8.8.8 .8 as well, right? Now guys, let me don ISP1 on router number one or on ISP, what I am going to do? I am going to don ISP1. On ISP1 router, first Ethernet 0 slash 0, this interface, I am, going, I am going to don this interface. Config T, interface, F 0 slash 0 and say shut down. I have done the interface now my isp1 is done and again let me ping 8.8.8 .8 .8 from here now really see now i am not able to ping 8.8.8 .8 .8. okay so that means problem is they are on router number one definitely right so let me take you on router number one here i am going to verify the configuration i am going to check the nat configuration first of all so run interface e 2 slash 0 so here i have run ipnet inside command yes this one is fine that's why 
LAN user are able to ping 8.8.8 .8 through ISP1. Now interface, sorry, so run interface F1 slash 0. So this interface should be outside and here you can see outside is configured IP net outside and what about 0 slash 0. So 0 slash 0 is also configured as IP net outside. Now let me check the net configuration. So run and we can say section IP net right. So it is better to check entire routing entire running configuration you can filter the output by with the help of pipe section IP net okay so IP net inside source route map primary interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 overload so we have created one loop route map and route map is called over here in this entry IP net inside source source is your route map it is going to match the source from route map and name of route map is primary after that interface fast ethernet so this one is the global interface outside interface and here you can see overload keyboard that means I am using what pet now I am going to check this route map so route map primary okay so in this route map you can see sequence number is 10 and I have uh, engineer have made create this route map with permit statement yes or no and here we have match IP address from list number 10 and I have match one interface that is F0 slash 0 absolutely fine configuration for F0 slash 0 towards ISP1 is absolutely fine if you want to verify the access list you can check access list as well so access list so access list 10 is configured permit any done okay now I am going to check so or run section IP NAT the NAT configuration towards ISP2 so here IP NAT inside source route map is secondary and interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 overload okay configuration of configuration towards sp2 is also fine but let me check once route map so route map and name of this route map is secondary secondary okay so no route map secondary found so there is no route map uh, configured with this name secondary so what we can do we can check all route map configured over here once route map so route map let me maximize it guys so route map secondary is configured over here okay so see here problem is engineer have configured IP net inside source route map and they have called which route map secondary a spelling mistake is there right but engineer have created route map with na name this one secondary you can see this and this there is one a spelling mistake this one is c s e c o n d r y and this one is s e c o n d r y so this is the problem that's why i think when ISP1 is going down, LAN user are not able to ping. So let me do one thing. Config T and do so run section IP net. I am going to remove the this entry. I am going to remove this entry from here. So let me copy it and say no. Done. And again I am going to create the route map with name secondary with right spelling secondary after that sorry route map we not need to create route map route map is already configured ip net i need to configure net ip net source ip net inside source route map and name of route map is here it is it is better if i will copy it 
copy the name so let me copy the name of my route map from here okay this one and after that my global interface is on that you want to translate the private IP address that is interface F 1 slash 0 and say overload done now let me check that PC is able to ping 8.8.8 .8 .8 or not yes it's not ping but still it's not pinging so again I need to troubleshoot it so let me take you on router number one again guys so run section 0, .0, 0, 0 let me check default route configuration so ip dot 0, 0, 0, 0 fast ethernet 0 slash 1 1 0 slash 0 and 1 dot 1 dot 1 dot 2 track number 10 so i am using this default route with, with one track and this one is with higher ad value and what about this route ma default route configuration so this one is not required so let me remove this one as well say no and i'm going to remove this default route configuration from here now so run section 0.0.0 .0 .0. Okay, you can see one is towards ISP1 and one is towards ISP2. So router will install which one? This one if track is your if your track is up, then router will install default route towards ISP number one. If track is down, then it will use install default route in the routing table towards ISP2. So now let me check my track is up or down. So track. So as you know your ISP one is down, so your track is down so it is going to use so ip route which route in the routing table 0, .0, .0, 0 towards 2.2.2.2 so let me ping 8.8.8 .8 from here first from my wan interface so yes it's working and let's say source is e 2 slash 0 that time also it's working that means my lan user is able to ping so why PC is not pinging then PC should ping PC should ping it dot yes you can see it's working fine now right now again if ISP1 will come up let me say no set on ISP interface say no set so my track will come up and once my track will come up so track it is going to use default route towards ISP number one so you still your track is what down but soon it this track will come up now you can see your track is up and now if you will check routing table so ip route or you can say so ip route 0, 0, 0, 0. so next stop ip address is towards isp1 right so again let me show you the PCs are able to ping 8.8.8 .8 or not. Now it is pinging 8.8.8 .8 through ISP1. When ISP1 will goes down, it will ping 8.8.8 .8 through ISP2. Right? If you want to verify what you can do, ping 8.8.8 .8 .8 and source is E2 slash 0. Done. I'm able to ping from my LAN interface. Now I am going to down which interface? Interface f 0 slash 0 say shut down and ping 8.8.8 .8 from LAN interface so you can see I am able to ping now if you build trace root trace root 8.8.8.8 .8 you can see Your traffic is going through 2.2.2.2. But when your ISP1 will come up, interface F0 slash 0, say no set. Right? So once you will run no set command over here, your track will come up first. 
and on stack will come up it is going to install default route towards isp1 and then if you build trace route 8.8.8 dot eight dot eight. so just wait for the track now you can see your track is up and now if you build trace route 8.8.8 eight dot eight dot eight, so you can see your traffic will go via 1.1.1.2 one dot one dot one dot now it's working fine this was the small troubleshooting of you know uh, fail net failover okay so in the same way you know this type of problem is occurring in real time so if you are a network engineer make sure you have watched this video uh, carefully and now you have understanding that how we can troubleshoot this type of problem right how many things you need to check first thing i think you should check is default route configuration so run or you can say so ip dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 until and unless isp1 is up it should be installed default route through this ip address and when isp1 will goes down interface f 0 slash 0 shut down once isp will goes down it should install 0 dot 0 dot 0 to what 2.2.2.2 okay guys so if you have learned something from this video guys please 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 hit on like button if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye guys if you have any doubt you can let me know in comment section